January 2nd, quarter to four, heading over to Dad's to head up to Lake Park, Minnesota. Why are we doing this? Where are we right now? Yeah, somewhere in Minnesota, no man's land. Well, we got, let's see this here, where is it? 96 miles to go until we pick up the car. Been driving since 4 a.m. It is now 12:51 p.m. How many miles have we gone? 506. 506 miles. Okay. Let's see when we get the car. Well, we made it. Here it is. Kind of a cool place. Huh? No. We definitely had people living in here. Well, maybe not people. Well, seven in the morning. Wednesday the 3rd, drove 1,100 miles yesterday, and we stayed in the Dells, and we didn't even go to a water park. So, anyway, here comes Dad out of the hotel, after as many pool stops. Okay, well, we're going to eat a continental breakfast and wrap it up. I think it's heavier than it looks. Huh? What do you think? It looks pretty good. For a car that's 70, I don't know, years old. 70 something years old. Well, we made it, huh? Thir 1,300 miles later.
Pimp my ride. Pimp my ride. <laughs> With Limp Biscuit or whatever. A couple of 14 Xboxes in there and a plasma because that's about all he does. And a purple paint job. Truck. Should have had a video camera running while. And that is the choke, that little button, that little gas pedal. Give it up. Probably got some gas there. Uh, I'm about to choke it. How do you choke it? How do we know what you're doing in the car? Hit the starter, you do whatever you gotta do over there.
Sounds better rolling. Huh. I ain't think it'll be that much in See, I always have a video camera on standby. Does it stop? Yeah, okay. Take this out. I'm going to try to pull it off. You need to turn the gas on, what do we
Make it a rat rod. It's like a go-kart, but different. He's gonna change those gaskets. <laughs> All right, so you got, what is that? That's the light, this one is the light. Yeah, feeding off of that giant head there. See there, that's the only one on here that is going from anywhere here to there. The rest right, of let me go get the book I got with the wiring harness. I here it is, the end of April. We bought the car in January 1st. It's running much better. It looks much better. Uh, we're going to take everybody for a ride in it today. And See how it goes. Come on, Tree, I'll help you do that. Okay. Yeah. Still running. Be careful because there's sharp pieces on these seats. I remember this car is 78 years old. Step on it. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wrong way. Need help? Here. Just hold your breath. Is it smoky on the way back? Is it smoky on the way back? Those things actually traveled up and down this road in, its, in their day. You want to tell us who you are and where you're going? <laughs> Come on, Gary, get in there. Driving a real car. To... <laughs>
you're a pro with the whole stick. Oh, you know what? The heat seat fixed us, but I'm Yeah, it was working. I didn't watch it. Let's see. You want to go for a ride? Here it is one year later, not quite one year, two more days, and it'll be one year since we brought this car home from Minnesota. And a lot of it's been changed since then. Uh, we haven't done a whole lot of videos, but it's been kind of a long summer. But uh, I kind of walk you through some of the stuff that we've done getting the video. Uh, the engine was not complete. Now it's all complete and it does run. Um, we did change the cross member. The cross member was completely rotted out. Uh, replaced the front axle. The axle was bent. And uh, probably the front steering kingpins, high rod ends. Everything's been replaced. New brakes front. Rear emergency brakes are all in working order now. Uh, Gary gave me a set of license plates, 1929 license plates. Uh, when I bought the car, did not have the correct headlights, did not have the correct bumper, uh, didn't have a horn. Over the last year, we've just been scrounging, buying, borrowing, begging for parts, and so far the car is pretty much all complete. Uh, the only thing it really needs now is a windshield wiper roof and four shock absorbers and it's ready for the road. Um, the uh, back brakes, I just got to finish, I just got finished putting those together. It does have emergency brakes now, they do go. And uh, if you look inside the, uh, the uh, turn this back on here. There. Okay, the inside, um, it, the upholstery was so rotted away and deteriorated from animals and mold and rot, we just threw everything away, made some temporary seat covers, uh, just so we're not sitting on the springs and driving it, and I think the seats came out pretty good for a first time project. Uh, inside the car, it did not have emergency brake, emergency brake does work, does hold the car. Um, that little light here lights up the dash. Interior light. Um, what all new um, hardware for the windshield. New rear view mirror for the see out the back end. Still needs a few more things. We've got to get the gas tank out of it and get the rust out of the gas tank. Need the uh, moldings for around the door. And uh, we should be good to go. Hopefully this summer it'll be on the road. <laughs> See what happens. I say we go out and do donuts with it now. What? Go out and do donuts in the snow with it. Uh, no, that's okay. So that's it? <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Is it? <laughs>